Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to some more Realm with Mad God. As our knight looks like we need one attack, 24 death, 5 speed. Uh, so we are going to go for an attack and some speed today. I think that sounds like a good idea. Defense, uh, I would love, love, love some defense. But I'm not going to try my hand at either the Abyss or the Sewers uh, quite yet. At least maybe not as this character. I feel like the Sewers is one that is better done as a ranged character. And therefore, uh, I'll come back. I'll, I'll do the Sewers and stuff a little bit more as a, a ranged character. Do we have... Oh yeah, our dex is, is maxed out. That's right. That's why I thought, but I couldn't quite remember exactly. Either way... Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. It is actually Tuesday night when I am recording this, uh, which means that the U.S. presidential, as well as other things, election is uh, quite underway at the time of me recording this. I have the election tracker up next to me. Clinton's at 190, Trump at 201. Uh, it was a bigger spread. However, Clinton won California, which is, of course, 55 votes and is... Quite the lion's share of a of a state, uh, which was expected, uh, but it's it's pretty neck and neck now. I don't remember which election it was. I think it was when Mitt Romney was was uh, was being elected or or not elected actually uh, was running rather that he was it was pretty close and he was slightly ahead and then you know at the last moment. A bunch of Democratic states voted, and then he lost. Um, so, it's, you know, it's still anybody's game. I'm not going to talk about the election, because I, I really don't want to do that. We've talked about it to death, and I feel like it's not something that, you know, I, I need to, to talk about anymore. I will say that I did vote. Uh, I did my civic duty. I hope that if you are uh, of the age to vote and a U.S. citizen that you also casted your vote. I don't necessarily care who you voted for. I think it's just important to go out and exercise your right. So I hope you did so. That being said, uh, let's go Sprite World here. Perfect. Uh, that being said, this is being recorded, or you're, you're watching this on Wednesday. And so there's, there's not much you can do about it now. Also, I know that there's a lot of people who don't live in the United States who watch my videos. Uh, there's not much that you can do about it either. In fact, there's basically zero that you can do about it. So, um, yeah, so that's the thing that's that's going on as we speak. I'm going to keep uh, taking a look at it as we go, but I'm, uh, I'm not... Do we steal a dex potion from this guy? We might have. But I'm not going to talk about it any any longer. I I'm just I'm just curious. You know, I'm curious how this one goes because it's it's fairly neck and neck. Uh it's it's one of those things. Oh, I want to go in here. It's one of those things that could go either way right now, but I I'm tired of talking about this. I'm sure you guys are more than tired of hearing about it. I'm to be honest, mostly uh, looking forward to no more political ads. It's one of those things that I actually got so fed up with the political ads on YouTube, I thought about disabling monetization for the last week just to spare you guys from it. But I, uh, I, you know, didn't do that because, you know, I'm a sellout whore. No, it's, it's, oops. I didn't do it because, oh, a treasure room. There we go. Because by the time I thought about doing it, it was pretty much uh, over with. So you will drink that. It means four more. Oh, is uh, is she dead? I guess she she must be dead. However, uh, we did come out with at least a speed potion. So there there's that. We got that going for us, which is nice as well. Let's head back to the nexus. So, yeah, I thought about doing that, like, it's Tuesday. I think it was, like, Saturday or Sunday night. I got fed up with it. I was like, I should just disable monetization. But I would have had to go through, I think I would have had to go through every video and pull off ads, uh, which would have been a lot of work, and then had to go back through all of them again and put them on, which didn't seem like it was worth it for 
two or three days worth. So I'm sorry, guys. I thought about it. I probably will next year, to be quite honest, because they were just absolutely atrocious this year. I think it was because they thought that, you know, getting to the the young population via YouTube was going to be a saving grace for one of the candidates this year. And so, uh, so it was fairly highly targeted towards YouTube. And I don't know about you guys. Maybe it's just because they know I'm of voting age and I live in the United States. But I saw a political ad on every single video. It wasn't like 50%. It was, it was every single video. Uh, and I'm, I'm fed up with it. I'm also fed up with getting people calling me, you know, at like nine at night, like, hey, I see that you're registered with X and Y party, or hey, have you heard about Donald Trump, or have you heard about Hillary Clinton? Oh, God, I told you I wasn't going to talk about politics today, and that's all I've talked about. Let's move on to something a little bit more fun. I don't have anything planned for you guys, of course, uh, because that would, you know, make me a good YouTuber. So... I guess we can talk about, let's see, what what have I been doing this week? Not too much. My my kids were sick this weekend, which you probably already know if you watched the latest Nilly's Realm video, which means that I haven't really gone out and done much uh, this past week. You know, having sick kids makes it a little bit more difficult to do that, so... Uh, I have been posting almost daily to Instagram, trying to motivate myself to get in front of the camera a little bit more or to to show you guys a little bit more of kind of my life behind the scenes, if, if you will. So if you're interested in that, my Instagram is the exact same as everything else. It's the Otter Gamer. Big shock or surprise there, I know. Uh, just go ahead and give me a follow or an ad or whatever they call it on that. And, uh, and I, you know, I'll check out what you guys have as well. I've had a few people, I think Lockless is on there, a few other people who've been posting really awesome stuff as well, which I enjoy seeing what you guys have going on as well. You know, this is a two-way thing. It's not just all about me as much as most people probably think it is. But, I don't know, I, I enjoy... Hearing what you guys did over the weekend. Because I get to talk. I know what I did over the weekend. You know, because I was there. I did it. You know, and I get to talk about myself all the time. I don't get to hear about you guys all that often. So it's a nice kind of, oh, hello, wall of gods. Uh, change of pace. So, you know. So, yeah, I, I haven't really done too much. Um, hmm. I, I had something planned. Uh, they want to do a sewers. I had something planned, but I don't think that we'll have enough time for it since we've been recording for almost 10 minutes already. Uh, it's also one of the things that I've been kind of not wanting to, to talk about, but I feel like we should. So I've been dreading it, which also kind of sucks. I mean, that's a... I haven't really been streaming much lately. Some people have been wondering where that's gone. I just haven't felt like it recently. And I can I absolutely can say it's because I feel like I'm putting in a lot of work and I'm not getting a return on it like I do with YouTube. And so there's this thing in the back of my head saying, well, you could just put all that work into your YouTube channel instead and and grow that instead of of spending all this time trying to stream. Now the problem with that is streaming is just like YouTube where you have to put in a lot of work before you you get any return on it. I've said this quite a bit already. It doesn't mean it's not true. So, uh, you know, that's that's where I am. I'm going to I'm going to go back to it cuz I feel like it's something that I enjoy doing. I just need to get over this this slump. I guess we can talk a little bit about self-motivation today because I think there's a lot of issues with this lately. I think it's, this is one of those things that a lot of people struggle with. So I can tell you how I always approach different situations. Maybe see if that helps. I know it won't be the same for everybody. I also know that I said that I was going to go for um, that I was going to go for speed and attack potions, and I understand I've gone through, like, three sprite worlds. They've just... They're there. 
they're there and they're easy to do. It's it's hard to pass it up. It's like, oh look, free decks. All right, perfect. So yeah, self motivation. So uh, where did where did it begin? I. It's funny. So when you have kids, you can never, you can never compare your kids because every every child is different, right? And I have one child who's very much. I'm just gonna go do the thing. And look, I did the thing. And I have one child who always says, you know, I can't do it. I can't do it, Dad. Oh, good, we got a defense. It wasn't all for a waste. Excellent. And everything, everything is, I can't do it. And a lot of the stuff is stuff that they've done before, you know? It's like, hey, uh, can you, can you do such and such? Oh, no, I can't do it. Uh, Cause I don't know how, or I, I don't, I can't do it because I, I'm not good enough, or, or this or that. And keep in mind, this is a five and a seven year old. This isn't, you know, going into puberty with all of the, the things that mess with your mind. There, this is a five and a seven year old, um, and so it kind of changed the way that I thought a bit. Cause I always thought that, you know, some people. You know, no matter what, you know, motivation to me has always been something that you can kind of overcome. It's a hurdle that no matter what, you can overcome it. And, you know, if if you just gain the right mindset. And I still think it's the same way. But, you know, having kids has opened me up to the, the idea that some people are just born with more motivation than than other people are which is kind of a weird thing to me you know at least that's the way that i perceived it after having kids because you know you have one kid who is gung-ho you know i'm gonna go do the thing and you have one kid who constantly says i can't do that because i'm not good enough and that's not a learned behavior because both me and my wife are very much if you put your mind to it, you can do the things that you want to do. So I don't, I don't know where that, that necessarily comes from, which means to me, well, okay, maybe that is a, a somewhat innate quality, you know, that it is not a, a learned thing, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. However, there have been a lot of times uh, in my life where people have told me that I can't do something. And I really want to tell you guys what those times were because I feel like, do you think we can do this one on our own? Yeah. We probably could do the first little bit on our own if we wanted to, but whatever. There have been plenty of times in my life where people are like, you're not going to get into this college because you're not good enough. You're not going to get into this college. This was my college like guidance, guidance counselor telling me this guys, like you're not going to get into X college because your grades and your scores aren't high enough and they would never let you in. And you know what? I said, screw that. I'm going to apply there anyways. This was at the beginning of my senior year. And then, of course, you guys know I'm an engineer. I went to an engineering school. Uh, one of the top engineering schools in the United States. And so what I did is my last year, and I, I was always like a, a CB student, like a 2.5-ish GPA type student, right? So my last year, I said, okay, well, I want to be an engineer. So let's take... AP Calculus, let's take AP Physics, let's take a bunch of science and math classes that are, are difficult. And I did very well in those classes. I retook the ACT and got a much higher score. And I think it also helps that I got really high scores in, in math and science. And then my reading and writing was was what brought my overall score down. And so they probably looked at that and said, okay, well, you know what? He, he's going to be an engineer. His reading and writing isn't as important as his math and science. And I, you know, I'm, I'm sure that's there was at least some of that going on. 
I, I would imagine. But so I applied myself in the last year of school. I took all these harder math science classes, brought my GPA up just barely to a 3.0, increased my ACT scores, and you guys know what? I made it into the college that I wanted. And I would never have done that if I said, oh, I'm not good enough, you know? I, I may as well not even try, you know? Why, why waste the energy? They already told me I wasn't gonna get in, so obviously there's no reason to, to try, right? I mean, they're, you know, oh, poor pitiful me. No, you know what? My mindset on most things, spoiler alert, is basically, you know what? There's gonna be some stuff that you can't control, right? And there's gonna be some stuff that you can control. And so you should focus all of your time and energy on the stuff that you can control because the stuff you can't control, there's no reason to worry about it because you can't control it, you know? There's no, there's no reason to worry. If you worry about it, you're just gonna make yourself sick from worrying and it's not gonna do you any good. So instead, block out all those people saying you can't do something Focus on the things that you can do. And if you get in, then excellent. You got in. You got what you wanted. If you didn't get in, then you put your best foot forward and you tried as hard as you could. And maybe, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. Or, you know, you can maybe try again later or change something. Or you just don't do the thing, you know, which it sucks sometimes, but, you know. So, I've had plenty of times where people said, if you go this way, that is going to be the hard route, you know? Th this is not the easy way to do things, you know? This is going to be difficult. Are you sure you want to do that? And you look at these things and you're like, if I'm able to do this, my quality of life will go up, you know, exponentially. So of course I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be difficult. I understand that. People say that calculus is difficult. Don't listen to them. Just do it anyways, you know. And you know, don't don't listen to these people. Don't listen to these naysayers that you can't do something. Just give it your best shot. And it's hard. It's it can be very difficult. If you don't have the motivation for something, but you know that it's something that would change your life, then you know. That tells you that that is something worth fighting for, right? If it's something that's hard to do, but you know you need to do it, you know, the easy stuff in life, the hard stuff, sorry, let me back up here. The hard stuff in life doesn't come easy, right? And sometimes all you need is that little bit of motivation, and it can be difficult, especially if, if you've had depression or if you've had other stuff fighting against what you want to do, right? But yeah, I don't want to do that. I, I'm here saying, oh, do do whatever, man. And I'm here, ah, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to face off against a bunch of gods while slowed. I'm sorry. That doesn't count. So sometimes those are the things that are the most worth it. So see do we need pirate rum i don't think we do that there perfect what does this even do drunk and invisible perfect just just the way that i want to be i think something just clicked in my head when i was in junior high or high school because when i was in elementary school i never applied myself you know i, I was the kid who never listened I did, I did my work for the most part, but I was the kid who would always not turn it in. Like, I did my homework in elementary school. I just always forgot to turn it in. And I don't know, you know? This, that's, that's what I did, you know? I never applied myself in elementary school. And, of course, that's not as, you know... Oh, did the other guy leave? Well, fine. I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do a cemetery anyways. Uh, um, you know, it's not necessarily as important as, as high school is for sure, but something clicked in my head because I just never applied myself. I just, 
barely skated by in, in elementary school. Middle school was close to that, you know? I didn't apply myself as much, but I started applying myself a little bit better in, in middle school. High school is where I started really starting to apply myself. And I, to be honest, it was kind of more the second half of, of high school, if I'm to be honest. In the first few years, like, eh, whatever. Uh, but the second half, uh, definitely started applying myself more. Something clicked and I said, you know what? If I'm not going to do this for myself, no one else is going to do it for me. You know? I, I have to do this for myself. And I have to put in this work. And so I, I created this mindset for myself. It's like, okay, well, I think we did like half the damage there. There we go. Yay, potions for me. And basically... The mindset I have towards stuff is I kind of ignore all those little voices in my head saying you can't do it or here's all the things that oh my god is this a zombie horde? I want the zombie horde. Where's this at? Is it here? I want oh it's up there. I want to see what this is all about. I haven't seen one yet. <gasps> it's a zombie horde! Ooh. It's the butcher. Totally not the same butcher as in uh, as in Diablo. Not not the same. Different butcher guys. The bigger bigger cleaver in Diablo, but larger butcher in Realm of the Mad God. Less uh, less demonic as well in Realm. I don't know. I I don't know what it was. Something clicked. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore all these little. Ooh, candy corn. Delicious and nutritious. What does this even do? Boosts dexterity, duration. Okay. Adds health and mana. Sure, why not? I don't know. I, I got this mindset. I don't even know where I got it from. But I'm glad that I did. To where it's like, I'm just going to ignore all these little voices telling me here's all the worst things that can happen. And we all do that. You know? Oh my god, if I don't do this, then this is gonna happen, it's, then this person's gonna hate me, and then my life's gonna suck because of this, and all this, and that, and the other. And we all do that, we all fall into that trap. And for some reason, I just st stopped listening to those voices, and I was like, alright, I'm just gonna do it, you know? Oh, the zombie horde wasn't done with? Alright. I guess there's more zombies to be killed. I... I didn't know that. There's gonna be people, I guarantee people are going to comment saying, you're an idiot. You, you should have stayed. It, it wasn't done with, you didn't stay through the thing. I guarantee it, 100%. That's okay. And that's all right, you know what? Because those people are also there to help me out. I get messages like that, then I know what to do, you know? It's great. So, yeah, I just stopped listening to those voices, which is uh, one of the hardest things. I got a white bag. I totally got a white bag. You see it back there? I see it back there. I want to know what it is. I don't want to go over there yet. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got infected skin. Awesome. Uh, okay, we're going to go use this before it goes away. So, oh, baby. Uh, no, not Guildhall. Vault, right? I think. Is that how you use it? This isn't a pet skin, right? Yeah, there we go. And we got it. See, oh, you know what? That was worth it. Where's our wand? Uh, where... Do we want this shield? No, we don't want the shield. Just stick it right there. Alright, cool. Yeah. Is there anything we don't... You know, perfect. Excellent. So whenever I approach something now, I don't listen to all those voices that say you can't do it because those voices are crap. They don't know what they're talking about. If you apply yourself and if you try and you do whatever you can to try, you'll find that more often than not, you'll do those things that those voices tell you that you can't do. And if you never try, if you listen to those voices and you never try, then... 
you, you'll never fail because you never even tried to begin with, but you'll never succeed in anything, you know? And those are all the, all the people who are, I don't know, I guess content to just flip burgers or, you know, work at some random, you know, customer service job for their entire life. And I've done customer service. I worked at a large, well-known retail coffee chain for four years while I was in college, you know? Um, so, and I, I won't say it was an, I, you know what? I liked working there. I didn't like working retail. I liked working there though, you know? And they take care of their employees, so. That guy keeps asking me to trade. I wonder if he knows who I am or if he's just randomly asking people to trade. Not quite sure. So I don't know. Next time that you really, really want something and all those voices start showing up saying, oh, you can't do it. You're not good enough to do this. You don't, you know, you're not qualified to, to do this or you don't know what you're talking about. Don't listen to them. Try it anyways. See what happens, you know? And when I say try it anyways, I mean actually try it. I don't want to run into that. It's scary. There we go. All right. We got a little bit of help. We get by with a little help from our friends here. Yes. And uh, we used some tactics. A tactically placed uh, rock. The best kind of rock. The tactical rock. I'm going to use another one right here. There we go. Perfect. So, I don't know. I, I have more I want to talk about with this. I'll probably save it for later. I have actual examples. I've been saving a lot of these things for talking about later. There's very, I would say, personal stories here that uh, I don't know if I want to really share yet, but I've had plenty of times where people have told me to just give up and don't do stuff. And you know what? I did it anyways, and I was much better for it for any any given reason whether it's what school you go to whether or not you should be with somebody you know or whether or not you should try working for a place even though you don't think that you can get a job there and their job posting says this is a starting position for people just out of college, but they want eight years of experience and they want to pay you $20,000 a year, right? Those are always fun to read. Like, the who who's writing this? You know, an alien or something? I'm not quite sure. You know, and, and they want eight years of very specific industry experience. A little tip for you guys on on looking for a job coming out of college. When the economy was down and the unemployment was high and there was a lot of people looking for work, there were a lot of people who said, okay, look at this giant, you know, amount of people that we can pull all of our resources from. And now we can be kind of a little bit more picky about who we, who we hire, you know, and we can ask for, for more from people because they don't have anywhere else to go. You know, they're unemployed, they need somewhere to work. So we can lower how much we're gonna pay them. We can ask for more from people. We can only hire the best people because you know what? They're being paid, underpaid is certainly better than not being paid at all, right? And now that we're out of that slump, it, it has carried over. And, and you'll you'll still see it. I think I missed every single one of those shots. Go right here. And and you'll see it. And you'll see it in the way that they post everything. And they'll say, we want someone with eight years of experience, but we want to pay them as much as somebody who's just fresh out of college, right? Or or you'll see a lot of these like, you know, we want two years of exper of industry experience in something. And you're like, well, how am I supposed to get that? I just graduated. Apply anyways. Trust me, apply anyways. Because they might say, oh, you're, you're, you don't have the qualifications that we're looking for. 
Well, guess what? No one else applied because that's a fictitious qualifications that they want. And so, you know what? You'll get the job because you actually applied and we don't have anyone else that applied. And you know what? That happens more than you think it happens. That happens a lot because of all these quote unquote bullshit post job postings that nobody can can fulfill like oh we want eight years of ergonomic lamp design or, or some bullshit and nobody has and so nobody applies for it and if you're the one guy who applied for it because you're like you know what why not and guess who gets the job you get the job so apply anyways because you know what guys the worst or the the worst thing that can happen is they say no or you just don't hear back from them that, that's that's the worst you know you're not gonna apply for a job and they're gonna like call the i don't know social services on you or, or something and threaten to take away your children or something because you applied for a position that was open they're not gonna try and and like blacklist you from the industry because you applied for a job posting you know it's it's all in your head just apply you know so what if you don't have 18 years of revit experience because you just got out of school you know just just go for it i think that's the th that's the the message i want from today's video and i know it sounds a lot like nike but seriously just go for it just do it you know what you're never going to know until you try and a lot of times the worst that can happen is that they say no. I think a lot of newer YouTubers fall into this trap as well. So when I just started on YouTube, I was playing games that I had in my library and all of the views and everything were in games that were brand new, you know, and all these new indie games that, that were all hip in the thing and, you know, and of course, the, the best way to, to get games, if you're going to review and stuff, is to ask for a review copies. For those of you who don't know, large majorities of, of YouTubers, I would say don't pay for video games. I would say they get review copies or, or sponsored copies. For the most part, YouTubers don't necessarily pay for video. At least, at least people doing... Uh, review type stuff probably don't pay for their video games and so if you want to not pay for video games then maybe think about starting a, a successful video game review channel you know it's, it's an easy thing to do it's a lot of fun i'm in human humans don't come from eggs that look like that silly uh did you know fun fact that a human egg is actually large enough that you can see without a microscope. I bet you didn't know that, did you? But now you do, and now you are better for it, because the more you know. Uh, the more you know. Hello, Wall of Gods. How are you doing today? I am here to absolutely annihilate and wreck all of you. So, yeah. So, if you get anything from today's video, hopefully you'll get, you know, try, just try it. Even if you don't think you can do it, if you if you try, the worst thing that can happen is you say no. The first video game I ever got for emailing for a review copy was Assault Android Cactus. This was a really awesome, I still love it, it's a great game. I'm not saying that because I got a free copy, but uh, I bit the bullet. I had like 20 subscribers, right? I emailed the devs of this game and literally like two hours later, there was a Steam key sitting in my email saying, yeah, go for it. Have fun. And, you know, if you do a video because of it, then that's great. And so I think the thing I had to say about that is the worst thing that can happen if you email a developer is that either they say no and quite honestly, they won't tell you no. The, well, I won't say that. Every once in a while, they'll say, you know, you don't meet our requirements or we don't have any left to give. That happens every once in a while. But, oh, wow, I just noticed that we have gone five minutes over. That's all right.
This is important stuff, guys. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is either they don't message you back or they say no. So did we die? Because I stood still when I thought we were teleporting out. Uh, did we die? I really hope we didn't. Either way, find out in the next thrilling conclusion in the next Realm of the Mad God video because we are over the limit for our time here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something or enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next episode.